it. Is this 47 inch wire? This computer. is not 47 inch wire. This is what they had in their computer labeled as 10, 47, whatever. This is nine. nine and a half. This is nine. Okay, well, you may as well learn along with us. You got your tape measure? We went to splice this on and we found out that we ended up here with the wrong stuff. And so we're gonna teach you what the numbers mean. This is 1047 wire, 1047 six, nine. So what that means, 1047 means that there's 10 line wires, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It's 47 inches tall, so 10 line wires, 47 inches tall. Then it's dash six, which means we have six inch stay spacing. From here to here is six inches. The last number is the gauge of wire. So this is nine gauge wire, so it's 1047 dash six dash nine for nine gauge line wire. The stuff we have here is a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna guess this is 939. So you can see we're that much short. 939, six, 12 and a half. Yep, this is 939. And so now we get to go back and see if they have the right stuff. Ah, that cost us some money. Wah, wah, wah. So this wire is 1047, six, 14 gauge, but this is a high tensile wire. So that means that even though it's a smaller gauge, it'll actually have very close to the same breaking strength as the nine gauge wire that's there. If you go into Tractor Supply or any other store for that matter, a lot of these people are not gonna have any clue what you're talking about. If you just say I need a 1047, six, 14, they're gonna be like, uh, not uncommon. That's how we ended up with the wrong stuff is the people that sell this stuff don't know how to specify it either. They have no idea. So it's going to be up to you to look at this, know the tag, know what the tag means. That is how you do it. That's how you specify the wire you want. And now that we know how to specify our wire, maybe we can get something done today.